you can see that the world is changing and is evolving and developing very fast almost everything needs education so why are you still waiting you can apply for public colleges and uh, universities some colleges uh, need as low as grade 9 uh, as a requirement and other universities just like unisa need as low as 15 points to study towards a higher certificate and as far as uh, do fund everyone who is eligible to apply who wants to pursue his or her studies in a tertiary level or public uh, colleges and universities so i'm asking you what excuse will you make what excuse will you provide um will you say uh, i didn't complete metric or i didn't do what if you dropped out from grade nine you can study uh, via a public uh, tibet college obtain that from level two to level four level five uh, you obtain that certificate n1 to n4 to n6 you obtain those certificates then you go to and apply to a higher universities and pursue your studies what you would like to start if you are interested uh, in, or in studying at any public college or universities uh, just like the university of zululand the university of kwazulu natane DUT, Mango Suti, and some other uh, colleges there um, in KZN in Guazulu Natan. CAO, which is the central uh, application officer, is the route you could use to apply for admission at these public u colleges and university online. At one office, pay one application and admission fee and one application for these universities for the programs that you like to start. So this means that you do not have to uh, do a, each application for each university or public uh, colleges. So today you will learn uh, how to apply for uh, admission uh, using the CAO online. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Angoba here, who's all about helping each and everyone to revive their ambitions and reinforce their dreams. So today, if it is your first time reaching my channel, uh, welcome and uh, please do not forget to subscribe. And I would like to extend my gratitude and say thank you to everyone who's supporting uh, this channel uh, by subscribing, liking and sharing the videos. Uh, especially your comments and questions uh, they help me uh, to know uh, what to post next and to see how many people uh, need this kind of information so as i've said today you will learn how to apply for cao for admission using the cao at these four universities and uh, the 70 public colleges and private at the Wazulu Natan using the CAO process. So hopefully each and every one wants to know uh, how much does it cost uh, the admission fee and application fee, how much does it cost as you provide one application, one admission and application fee uh, at one office, how much does it cost. For South African it cost 250 rand and for internationals it cost 300 rand and uh, application that will be received from uh, 1 november as it, it will be considered as late so this one 250 you submit them before the 31st of october and after from 1 november uh, onwards the application fee uh, will incur uh, admission fee of 470 and for international is 510 80 as it is late so as you know um each and every institution requires some document to make the selection decision first if you are doing grade 12 uh, you need to provide an it copy final grade 11 uh, plus grade 12 june uh, report and uh, the grade 12 trial result as soon as they are available you have to upload them and provide them uh, applicants who have already passed grade 12 and has uh, and have studied at another institution colleges uh, you need to provide your id copy and full academic re record or transcript so if you have upgraded one or two subjects uh, at your metric uh, you are required to provide or send the certified copy of your combined statement or certificate of result please note that it may take up to four weeks after they have received the your application to respond to you uh, maybe by sending an acknowledgement letter uh, by an email letting you uh, to know uh, that they have received your application 
uh, but if you do the online application it can be a one day thing uh, by 24 hours maybe you could receive the acknowledgement letter so make sure that you provide a correct and a valid email address um, it is your responsibility uh, then to keep checking your acknowledgement letter and inform the CAO um, office uh, of any error omissions and changes if you have any changes and if you have submitted your uh, your application and it is over four weeks and still there's no communication from the CAO still it is your responsibility to inquire the account details will be found on the description of this video below so how can you apply for admission using the CAO you can apply online by going to the to the CAO website www.cao.ac.za um, I can say it is good because you can receive the acknowledgement letter within for 24 hours and you can pay the uh, admission fee, fee online or you can apply by using a mobile app that can be found from your play store or app store uh, app store but you will have to upload your document on the CAO website or you can apply by uh, using a hard copy that can be found from your school you can ask your principal or LO teacher or send an email to form request cao at cao.ac.za or call their center at 086-086-0226 or download it from uh, the website uh, from their website www.cao.ac.za by clicking apply and follow the instructions then there are some information you have to uh, fill in then before you download so if you choose to apply by a hard copy uh, make sure that you email the application to the forms received uh, cao at cao.ac.z or you can post it to their private box x x06 uh, tell reach or tell preach or confirm that uh, 40 uh, 14 or you can hand it over to the CAO get 11 Maritipa Street at Deben from they are open from 8 o'clock in the morning to half past four in the afternoon there is a lot to know about CAO there are some programs they offer certificate uh, degrees and diplomas uh, a lot so if you are interested uh, to know more or if you have any query you can email whatsapp me or call and for faster response uh, please call uh, at 0798 my contact details my full contact details will be found on uh, below on the description of this video uh, but for now let's do the application so what you have to do take your pc your cell phone or tablet or pc use any internet browser that is uh, applicable to you so google chrome is, the, is always the best one so let's use Google Chrome. Come here, type www.cao.ac.za and click enter. So this is their website. Sorry, I've entered something wrong. www.cao.ac.za and always click enter. So this is their homepage as you can see here. So to apply, you click here, apply or my applications here. Then, so once we are here, you can see, um, you can click apply now, how to apply through this. If you want to learn the acronyms and abbreviations, you can click here, terms and condition. Uh, if you have already applied, you want to check your status, check it here. So let's continue with the application. Then you enter ID number or your passport number. then click submit so you can always read this uh, read this uh, or also download the PDF reader Adobe uh, this is for reading PDFs yeah you can always download that then just click continue the application so enter your first name enter both of your names tightly the email address enter the postal code of your error uh, in the 
indicate the country yeah you can select the suburb which suburb I was staying at around uh, so as you can see this uh, is the suburb this uh, pre abbreviation Houghton then the street name yeah street then you can enter addresses here especially it is compulsory enter it uh, and uh, if you have made mistake you can always clear cl clear the addresses field and restart afresh is there is there any alternative or new postal address uh, you can click yes if there is if no click no then enter your cell phone number a telephone telephone number if you do have it let's enter cell phone number then person to speak to uh, just in case they can't get hold of you then uh, their cell phone number confirm all of this and click so once you are here on this page you can see now it's either you continue the online application or you download an application form so we click here to continue with the online application then this is your information CAO number your password uh, you can always cram this password your password then your easy pay uh, number if you want to pay click this one this number then continue the uh, application then enter your surname uh, previous surname if you do have it are you a South African citizen? Yes. Or if you, you are, click yes, confidentiality. Uh, or you can click no. If no, other institution will be able to conduct you about places they may have available. So better leave it here at default no. <coughs> if you are intended to apply for NSFAS, you will click here and continue. Um, do you have an active bank account if you do you click yes then uh, enter your bank name then your type of your bank is it a student or savings or check uh, indicate that your bank your bank account uh, this is it your gender indicate your gender Your marital status are you married or not population group home language what is your home language so what are you currently doing will indicate if you are a learner if you are currently doing matric will indicate yeah indicate what is uh, applicable to you then if you have any uh, disability you click here already you have to click here indicate do not leave it here not applicable click here indicate that not disability then click next so this is the next of kin information uh, full names name yeah. <clears throat> then enter your code again where does your next of kin stay uh, then you allow this tip then you select your sub up then you enter your addresses tap them and uh, you can clear the form if, if it is wrong enter the cell phone number if you want to apply for NSPAS you you can fill in this information your father information your mother or your guidance if, if applicable so I'll choose to click yes next then the name of your school select the name of your school and search it it appears then you click add if you can't find your school click here can't find my school so click add 
then you can remove it if you, uh, if by mistake you entered the wrong school name then when did you start studying at that school to which year did you finish then click next so have you written a south african uh, school living examination if because we have indicated uh, that you are a university student so it's already yes if no uh, it would be you know but i think it would be yes as you can see it's from grade nine so yeah you can indicate what you have done so for us it's here uh, where is it where are we uh, national senior certificate here yeah. authorizing is in your province and your province exam number if you still remember it if you are upgrading or you are upgrading or you are relating relating you, you can click here then click next oh we forgot to enter the exam the exam the exam year enter the exam year then you click next <coughs> so we have to enter a subject here you have to enter a subject here yeah, select examination type so already it's ncs then search your subject let's search so it's available click add then enter your symbol the symbol you got then the percentage you got uh, then you come again and search for a new one before you click next or you click next come and search for a new one so english click search so it's appearing here so indicate so let's fill in the information actually for subject come and search again So then once you are done you can come to a subject it should be seven one two three four five six seven then you can enter uh, how many le the levels you got Once you are done here, click next. So now you can enter the choice of study you want to apply for. Um, if you know, if you know the code of the subject or the course you want to apply, you can click it here. So it should be like this. So we do not know it and click add. So we will type the name that we want to do there at all institutions and you can search if it is available so it is available where you can see it here DUT University of Guadalupe and all of that you can choose uh, so let's check choose then you choose add you see it is here then you come again you can add another second choice And you click search so you can see there is a lot that is available here Devons. so you can see if you want a certificate you can choose a certificate so I want this I'll choose this so everything is fine then you click next are you studying or now or have you started year from from which year 
you'll indicate from which year you have been studying at that university if you are studying to which year where what the name of the institution then select the campus if it is not on the list click not on the list then you have to type it here Then enter the program that you are studying. Then you click add. So your information is here. If you know your student number, you can enter it here. So did you complete a, a qualification yet? No. Uh, writing there is a waiting for result. If yes, you click yes. Been excluded from a tertiary institutional residence. You can click yes. No, if you were or no, then click next. So there is a information kit here and verify it. Verify your information. You verify your information. Your study choices. So you can see here it's a status here. So awaiting for decision, awaiting for decision. You can edit if you want to edit, edit everything if you want to edit. Then you press process my application. Your application has been successfully submitted to the CAO. So if you want to pay, you can click here to pay. If you want to go and pay at um, Easy Pay, this includes ShopRite, Checkers. It is include shop right checkers, box, a pick and pay, Woolworths, etc. You can use this number to go and pay there. Yeah. So to upload document, click here, click here to upload your document. So select the document type that you want to upload. Let's say you want to upload, um, especially if you have completed a higher certificate, your final grade level result, the signed declaration form. Uh, or from your parents uh, or what uh, all of these your certified id copy let's let's choose that You want to upload this file yes you can always remove it and choose you can upload as many as you want then submit my documents then please note that your documents has been successfully uh, submitted then back to home so you have got this is a short message that you have uh, you have completed your application you you can check your status uh, by clicking here uh, what is this thing? Check my application status or change of mind. Um, yeah, upload documents, change password if you want to change your password. Then that's it. So good luck guys with your studies and uh, do not forget if you have any query or any question, uh, do contact me for fast response. Try to call me. Good luck.